so excited when I got the invitation from my great friend and top producing realtor, Jesse Manuel, to come out to a spot in East Village that I'm very familiar with, Courtyard. I can't wait for you guys to fall in love like I have. Let's go inside. Jesse, have I ever mentioned that you're my favorite person? Always. Cut that part out. Don't tell anybody else that. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse, you brought Jason here today. Yes. To a place that I'm very familiar with because they have two of my favorite things, beer and dogs. We're here at the courtyard. You know, center of East Village, I would say one of the cornerstones of this community and an uh, excellent place. You know, we'll talk with Jason a little bit more and, and he'll tell us all about it. I think it was really strategic that they gave us these really great beers, but no tables. <laughs> so during the whole entire interview, I'm just gonna be over here enjoying just this drink great, it. yeah, drink this great cold <laughs> beer. So you guys have a bunch of beers on top over there and a full bar, right? Correct, we do. So you guys are a full service, like you guys have food too? Yep, yep, we have a restaurant concept. We have a coffee shop for uh, people to get coffee in the morning, bring their dogs, and um, that's open pretty much all day as well. So we face that towards the sidewalk to activate the street a little bit and then come in here for a full bar and uh, have a good time with your neighbors. It's yeah. the greatest. Okay, so we are in East Village, which is actually a separate part of downtown. Yes. Tell me about East Village. I love East Village because it's very casual. It's ballpark, you know. You have places like this where you truly bring community together. You have the dog park. You have food here, you guys host entertainment here, and it's a very laid back part of downtown. It's a very ballpark type feel. One of the great parts is you can get into East Village affordable and it's growing. You know, 1080 Park, you're able to get in 15th level, micro unit, 289, great deal whether you're a student here at Thomas Jefferson Law, find your first home, you have community here. East Village, definitely one of the best neighborhoods in downtown. We often hear realtors throw out the term affordable in San Diego, mm -hmm. and most of the time they're speaking like million dollar. And for a lot of people, that's not affordable. So no. what range are you actually talking about being affordable? You know, like I said, 289, you could get into a micro unit here at 1080 Park, you know, and all the way up to your million dollar properties. But you do have affordable entry level pricing. <sighs> under $300,000. Under $300,000 in East Village. That's insane to That's me. pretty good. Yeah. Well, yeah. And what people are paying to live downtown, it's like, walk oh, up a I couple know. blocks, people. <laughs> Downtown's your neighborhood. It's your yard. Yeah, That's the great thing about it. They do a great part with that. Your dog parts, you know, your music, your entertainment, it's that extension of your living. Absolutely. Okay, so I want to know, because this is unlike anywhere in downtown or anywhere that I've ever been. Tell me the concept behind this place. Yeah, definitely. Uh, well, it all, it all derived or started when we were in grad school at New School of Architecture and Design. Uh, me, Phil, Phil Bocktel, and David Lowenstein, we were all students there and we decided to group up and do our thesis project and we wanted to build something, you know, we, we didn't want to do a conceptual project so, you know, you have to have money to build and um, we, we kind of filtered off that and got our energy from not having any money and, and got creative that way and uh, we, we said, you know, there's all these blighted lots around East Village, downtown San Diego. This is our home. New schools just down the block. You know, how can we activate one of these lots? Who owns it? And so we found out the city owns a lot of this land, and they're waiting to put it out for RFP to develop it, sell it, build another high rise, right? So in that interim time, maybe we could do a temporary architecture to activate that block for the community and um, make a cool space for people to hang out. So we use shipping containers as the uh, infrastructure because you know they're, they're module, they're, they're easy to ship around, you can do cool um, openings with them and make them habitable and whatnot. So that's ultimately what formulated Courtyard and we kept pressing the fact that uh, it was very community oriented. So we asked all of our neighbors what they wanted here and. It, it, you know, it kind of it kind of started, you know, our slogan, your city block, your backyard. Okay, so this is truly like architecture, great time, bar, all comes together in one. Yeah. All from your brain, yours and your friends' brains. Yeah, yeah, me and my, my, my business partners, yeah. <laughs> business partners, friends. <laughs> friend, I mean, we're, we're like brothers, you know, yeah. <laughs> I can't talk. Yeah. Okay, uh, so tell me a little about your guys' architecture friend. Yeah, definitely. Uh, after we got the first courtyard running, uh, we started our firm, Rad Lab, which is research, architecture, development. And uh, we, we focus a lot on placemaking, tactical urbanism, taking those underutilized lots and, and, and activating them with 
typically with shipping containers and modular construction. So that's the core of our business right there. We, we do a, a lot of uh, uses like this, beer gardens, restaurants, coffee shops. We're focusing on some boutique hotels up in the Washington, San Juan Island area too. So we're, we're all over the place, yeah. So uh, that, that's kind of that's kind of what we like to focus on. We like to we like to use that modular construction to make it more affordable to build, fast track the construction pro process, and and work with manufacturers and, and give clients um, a really cool product. You know, I love it. Yeah. Okay. What when you guys when a lot of people say like, oh, I asked the city's opinion. It's like you guys asked five people's opinion. You guys legitimately put some papers up. Yeah. And. People came over with their Sharpies in the neighborhood and wrote what they want on there. Yeah, exactly. A bit of guerrilla marketing there, yeah. But uh, yeah, we did that. It was cool. It was, it was fun. You know, I, a thousand stickers, blank, film all out. We had some outrageous answers like uh, baseball stadium or the snake pits or something like that. I'm glad but, you guys didn't do those. <laughs> but, you know, after the analysis, it all came down for a space where the community can gather. And there's no parks in East Village, you know? There's no big dog parks. There's no outside is limited. I don't know why, but uh, so that was like the three main focuses, right? Outside, gather, socialize, and anyone's welcome. So we're not targeting a specific demographic. Yeah, I love it. I'm sure everybody's listening. They could hear all the dogs in the background like <laughs> yeah. playing and yeah, having yeah. a great time. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Well, and I saw that you guys have like a bunch of games too. So having kids here during the day, grabbing a cup of coffee, maybe some pretzels or whatever and sitting down, is something that's totally doable for family down here. Yeah, 100%. I mean, if you could imagine waking up, there's more more dogs than kids in downtown, right? And so that's the way I like you, it. you just walk around the <laughs> sidewalks and you, you let them poop on the sidewalk or something, but this gives you a place to go and socialize. And especially when you get into that after work, you have to walk your dog. Now it's like, oh honey, I'll walk the dog because you get to go have a beer. <laughs> oh yeah. You know what I mean? And, and you get to socialize and meet your neighbors. And it's a great way to meet your neighbors. That's hard to do these days. Everyone kind of shelters in their little caves. You guys literally have a concept that's from the day, from your coffee shop, family, midday, dog park, to even some fun in the evening time, yeah. you know, with the bar and the food. So you guys really hit all areas mm -hmm. of the community and everyone's needs here, yeah. which is pretty yeah. neat. I would say if they hadn't already been here, people should come check out Courtyard. It really is something for everybody. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, I, Jason, I don't know if you know this, but I kind of have this little like rivalry going with Jesse. Okay. I always have to have some kind of competition with him. <laughs> okay. Last time I totally kicked his butt at a whiskey tasting contest. She did. She won that one. And I noticed <laughs> that they have a uh, cornhole over there, and I'm queen of cornhole. Oh, okay. So Jesse, here goes round two of our competition. Loser has to buy beers. Cheers. To that. <laughs> Jason, thank you so much All for right. having us. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Take care. Yeah. Jordan Group. We are your hosts for today and we are so excited to be a part of the Lifestyle San Diego family. Just to tell you a little bit about Kelly and I, we've been in the real estate business for over 15 plus years. And while we sell homes all throughout San Diego County, Carlsbad is where we live, where our office is located, and where we enjoy the Southern California lifestyle. Each month we're going to be speaking with people within our community that inspire us. We're also going to be showcasing properties that embody the true indoor-outdoor lifestyle that we all know and love. Let's go meet the owner of Choice Juicery and grab ourselves a juice while we're at it. Natasha, thank you so much for joining us today. We are so excited for this segment because 
Kelly and I are huge fans of Choice Juicery. I love to hear that. Yeah, not only do we come here all the time, but we also follow you on Instagram, and you are one busy, busy woman. I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep, so let's get started. What really inspired you to start Choice? Oh my goodness. Well, um, you know, when I was 11 years old, I lost my grandmother, who was kind of a light in a really dark place for me. And when she passed away, she actually passed away because of complications from the medication she was prescribed. Wow. There was a seed planted out of that tragedy. So years later, you know, every time I would hear about, you know, don't eat this, you should eat this, this is better for you, I started to kind of like develop this love for eating healthy. Yeah. And anything I'd get my hands on nutritionally, I would get my hands on. And I fell in love with this whole plant-based movement and, you know, eating healthy and living a healthy lifestyle and eventually left um, a career in banking to teach plant-based nutrition. No way. It did, and then in my teaching, um, I was showing people how you can make you know, healthy food taste good. Yeah. And getting people excited about it. But like the, this one. Yes, like that one. Yes. Uh, <laughs> but at the end of the day, I found out that that wasn't enough. People, they didn't just need the information. They didn't need to be exposed to the good food that was healthy. They also needed it to be convenient yep. because people were yep. busy. And yep. so that's when kind of the idea for Choice was born. I really wanted to just create a place that you really couldn't make a bad choice at. So what brought you to this location being the original, ah, you know, this was good the founding question. location? Good yeah. question. You know, I used to drive. I'm a surfer. I'm always on the coast. Okay. And I surfed here in Carlsbad a lot and I ended up moving to Carlsbad and I always saw this place and it was just this big open empty space you know there was a container here that I reached out to the people that owned it at the time and at that time they weren't ready to sell but in a couple of months they were and I had to jump when they said ready and I did and made it happen. And then obviously you've expanded so how many locations are you at now? So uh, we are about to open this week our fourth retail location and then we also have a commercial kitchen out in Vista as well so we have five locations essentially for being yeah. retail locations. Not all like this. Um, our other locations are all indoor, um, but equally incredible in their own right. And do you create all your own recipes? Yes, so um, that was my passion before. You know, yeah. I did a little bit of recipe development while I was doing the teaching thing, and I just have a knack for creating healthy food that tastes you good. Sure you sure do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah, most people think that they have to compromise their taste buds to yeah. eat healthy, yeah. and that's not the case at all. It just takes a little bit of creativity in the kitchen, but you can create some of the same flavors and textures with the most healthy ingredients yeah. that just literally blow people's minds. People tell me all the time, if I could eat this all the time, I would totally eat healthy. Yeah. yeah. Well, you can. <laughs> well, and this just isn't a passion project for you. Like, you embody this lifestyle. I mean, this is what I see on Instagram yes. all the time, and that's what I love about social media nowadays. Isn't you it can fun? kind of follow people <laughs> and I love that. kind of, you know, see, be a little voyeur into their lives. But, yes. I mean, this is truly you. So, what we like to do, too, is we like to give our viewers two daily tips that you have, um, either that empowers you each day and gets you kind of, like, going throughout the day, healthy lifestyle tips, something that you do every single day that really makes a difference. Awesome. Um, I would say definitely starting the day off right. Um, I love to start my morning with a lot of water with lemon in it. Um, I think it's a good way to start the morning off right with detoxifying. Um, and then incorporating one good food choice every day as a minimum I think yeah. is a good idea. Um, so whether it's a green juice or a healthy smoothie, but trying to really fill your body with as much uh, proper nutrition so you can get done what you need to get done yep. um, with proper fuel. Well, thank you so much. That was such great information. Yeah. And we love this location. You can have a smoothie here in the morning, go yeah. right next door and have a craft cocktail in the yeah, afternoon. it's amazing. This little corner and pocket is incredible. It's a lot yeah. going on over here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's only two blocks away from our listing on Pine Street. Yeah, let's go check that out. Absolutely. So Jen, here we are at our listing 519 Pine Avenue, just two blocks from where we were on Carlsbad Village Drive. I know, super cool. Super cool. Yeah, tell me a little bit more about what you just love about this listing of ours. Well, I think this is incredible. I mean, it truly is a perfect blend of urban and beach living. Yeah. We walked here in two blocks. It's under $850,000 for three bedrooms, two and a half baths. The best thing is you get a two-car garage. Literally, you come in during the weekend, park your car, and then you walk everywhere. And everything is here. You know that. Yeah, I know that. And you know what? You're not getting a fixer-upper here. You're getting a home with multiple upgrades. No, the seller has taken such amazing care of this property. It is pristine. 
So she's upgraded almost every component to this home. Mm -hmm. um, true pride of ownership, that is for sure. And what about all of this natural light and open yeah. living concept? And I just love how it flows into that super cute patio out there. I know, well you're on a corner unit, so it's amazing the natural light that you actually get in. And from the living room, you've got two French doors or a set of French doors that go out into this adorable courtyard. She also has a fireplace out there. So it's really neat. I mean, can you imagine having a glass of wine out yep. there? Coming back from the beach. <laughs> I know, I totally can. I yeah. totally can. Coming back from the beach and just using that. I would use that all, all day time. long. This really shows you what you can get in Carlsbad Village. Yeah, I don't think a lot of people understand that they can get this for this price. No, it's affordable. Well, you know what? I think we've been pretty good today with our juice this morning. How about we go grab a cocktail? I like that. Let's head to the bar. Nice partner. <laughs> Well, along my travels for both work and vacation, I like to get a good workout in, in the gym of whatever hotel I'm staying in. Now, I've noticed they tend to be small. It's not really the priority of the hotel, but not here at the Westgate Hotel. Aquavi is their four-story, spacious, state-of-the-art facility. Today, I'm meeting my friend, Dean, who's a bit of a fitness fanatic like myself, and I cannot wait to show him the beauty of Aquavi. Dean, welcome to Aquavi. Happy to bring you along here where I teach yoga a couple nights a week. I appreciate it. Yeah, this place is phenomenal. I know you're so into fitness, so you must feel like you're in heaven here. Oh my gosh, there's so much to do. You know, for me, my fitness has changed throughout the years and it literally has everything that I need now. Um, I, I have a, such a diverse workout regimen. So to have something like the pool, um, the weights, the yoga, it's perfect. Anthony, uh, you're like our uh, special director here at Aquavi. You oversee everything. I do. So uh, can you just kind of tell people who are not familiar with Aquavi what makes this fitness center so special compared to what else you can find in San Diego? Yeah, Aquavi is a unique property. It is um, associated with the Westgate Hotel. So we're a four diamond property at the Westgate. So our standards are really high. So we're really, really clean. We spared no expense, as you can see with Aquavi. Yeah. Um, we cater to a person who wants to be pampered with their membership and likes to stay and play. We have four levels of fitness, so you don't have to come and just work out. You can use our spa as well. We have everything under one roof. We have poolside service for you at the pool, yoga mimosas on Saturday. Oh, he doesn't love that. Exactly. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, we have Sunday brunch at the Westgate, it's about $59. It's a great deal. And then also we have jazz nights on Thursday here at the pool. Amazing. So this whole place gets transformed into a jazz night, basically. Yes. So if you're not a member yet, but maybe you're curious, you want that pampered kind of lifestyle, um, what would be the best way for somebody to really get involved? Well, you can go to our website at aquavwellness.com, or you could just walk in if you're a local resident. We'll give all local residents your first time a free pass to utilize the property, check it out, spend the day. Amazing. Or you can come utilize our spa as well, get a treatment, you have access to the whole property all day as well. Yeah. Um, most people want a pass to come check out your class or yeah. check out the locker rooms because we do have the best locker rooms downtown by far. Yeah. Very, very clean, steam, sauna, all the towels are provided. Yeah. Everything, you don't need to bring anything here. I know, it is like such an yeah. awesome facility. Um, I know Dean, like you had mentioned, different classes is also good too. So Anthony, outside of the yoga that I obviously know about, what, what other types of classes can people take um, here? We have hit classes, uh, we have kickboxing classes, we have bar classes, love spin it. classes right here on the rooftop, which is kind of unique. You name it, we have it under one roof. Yeah, anything that you could possibly uh, look for. That's like, what I need these days. Yeah, <laughs> sounds like it. And not to mention, sometimes I know they have like instructors in the pool too, so if you don't want to just come and swim, you can actually come to an actual class. Monday nights we have Master Swim in the pool with Kevin. Nice. It's a pretty killer class. Awesome. So for people that maybe need a little bit of low impact, you've got obviously like the, the high intensity kind mm -hmm. of stuff, but you can also come and do the stuff in the pool. So it sounds like maybe that might be right up your alley. It is, it is. You know, for me, I've got such a... Uh, you know, over the years of some injuries and stuff like that. So running is out of the, uh, yeah, I can't do it anymore. Come, come to the Zumba, <laughs> Zumba class on Monday and Thursday, Saturdays. In, in the pool. 
No, we do Zumba downstairs. Oh. We'll, we'll get you moving. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, stuff like the pool is, is perfect for me because I, I need the low impact, and I also need the cardiovascular. Our pool is unique as well. It's only three feet deep, so you can get a total body workout still, um, but you're not treading water. So you right. can walk the yeah. whole pool as well and still get a good workout. Good. It's good for the older population as well. Yeah, and I love that you've got the hot tub too in case people really need that as well, especially like with injuries and things like that. Yep. And then, of course, the, the sauna and the steam rooms in the... Yeah, the whole in, in the spa. Just get yourself a nice massage. Like you said, you got the, the whole full package, package under. Full package. Um, it's like, can you can you stay the night here? Because it seems like you can get you a room. Yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> Not right across the street. So I'm I'm curious too. You know, obviously living in San Diego, people love to maybe spend their weekends coming up to the rooftop. So for people that are maybe like visiting out of town, tourists, can they buy a pass to just come in and yeah. use? The yeah, pool? we we do discounted passes. Um, if you come with a member, if you just, uh, for out of town, you can buy a day pass from us. Um, it's $45 for the day, but you have access to the whole property. You can stay and play all day. Yeah. Um, we were also on resort pass. Very nice. If you, if you want to check that out. I love that. So what are some of your favorite classes here? My favorite one, your class, <laughs> number one. I had um, to just fluff that. <laughs> I like Alberto's class for uh, spin and strength combo. Yeah. It's a 30-30 class. Um, Darwin's kickboxing class is great, which we just moved up to the rooftop. So people like working out outside. And then I've just started the inversion yoga, which I like. Nice. So I'm going to keep moving in that direction and try your recommendation and taking a little more yoga class. Yeah, I maybe mean, get press up into the handstand and uh, things like that. Turn my mind off a little bit. I'm going to try. <laughs> of course, because obviously, you know, it's it's a chaotic world we live in, right? Like people are constantly stressed or anxious. Exactly. And I feel like sometimes when they come to classes or they come to Aqua B to work out or even just use the pool, I mean, it's kind of like what you look forward yeah. to all day, right? To yeah. really like let loose. They do, and it, uh, we pride ourselves on knowing every member's name when they come in, too. We have a dialogue with them. We kind of know if they're in a good mood and a bad mood. We try to cheer, uh, cheer them up. We make sure we say goodbye. We hand you a towel. So it's all about service here at Aquavit. The mimosas just help, name. too, by the way. On Saturdays, the, the, the most of mimosas, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, it's really it's really nice. I've uh, I've subbed that class sometimes, and it does seem like people, they do. It, like, it energizes you to get up on a Saturday morning to do yoga outside, and then, of course, you get the, you gotta you gotta be able to play too, exactly, right? Exactly. You don't have to have the mimosa. You can get an orange juice. We, we, it's, it's totally fine. But people do like the mimosa aspect of it. There's usually about, on average, 15, 15 to 20 people in the class. It's usually a well-attended class, and that's Kendall's class. Yeah. Well, anyway, um, I just love teaching at this facility. I'm so glad that you came by. Anthony's been just an incredible director here. Oh, thank and you very much. Yeah, just the service here is impeccable. So I don't know. I think it's time that maybe we uh, we check it out. Maybe get let's, a little workout while we're here. Let's do it. I'm ready. I'm ready too.